Uh, so I wanted to give an answer to somebody who sent me quite a long question about what they termed as being Instagram squat, right? and they'd used the quotation marks. Um, now what they meant by Instagram squat, and I know this because they sent me a selection of videos all detailing it, um, was this tendency that they noticed, and then also something that I've noticed as well, of people finishing a squat but then going for a little bit more. So coming up and out of the squat, finishing with their glutes, which is a great thing, but then pushing their hips right the way through. Right, so ending up right here. Right, this question was, why is that? Is it something I should be doing? Um, is it something I should be telling people to do? And, and what, is it, what is it achieving? Now, the short answer is, no, we, it isn't something that we should be doing. Um, and I'll put some, some clarity around that by just linking back to functional anatomy, which is always what we should be linking all of our decision-making back to. So we look at hips and we look at a pelvis, right, and we think about what is going on when we come out of a squat. Right, so a squat is effectively that. Right? What we want somebody to do is, as best as possible, maintain neutral pelvis, maintain their canister position. Right? So if they're maintaining a canister position, we know there has to be a slight forward lean in somebody squats. So that has to happen. Right? So this pelvis is tilting slightly, which is allowing hip flexion to happen. Right? When somebody comes out of that, we want that torso to come back upright. Right? And we want the pelvis to follow it. So we need a posterior tilt to happen on the pelvis. Right? And that's where we get that co-contraction of the abs pulling up and glutes pulling down. So we want that finish. We want that hard finish, glutes and abs, um, at the top of every squat. However, that finish has got to have a finish. Right? So it gets here and then it stops here. If we get here and then we push it right the way through even further, right, this, remember, is standing on the floor. Right? So this isn't going anywhere. Right? So if we then rotate a pelvis like this, and then push it forward, all right, the only thing that's really happening is, one, we're gonna cause an extension up here, but also we're gonna cause this to ride forward in that hip socket. So we're gonna cause that ball to start to ride forward in the socket that it's supposed to sit with it. And what that does is it puts pressure on all those structures from the inside. Right, so if we think back to our tight hip flexor discussion from a few weeks back, um, and we talked about one of the things that gets mistaken as being tight hip flexors is just hip pain, all right? And that's hip pain by these quite delicate structures, really, in the, that support the front of the hip being compromised by things moving in ways that we don't want them to, all right? And one of those things is, is this glide forward of the femoral head, all right? And if we are asking somebody to get into a posterior tilt and then push here, that's what's happening. And, and you can probably see that is what's happening when we push that forward, okay? So finishing a squat is getting to neutral, right? But remember, a finish has got to have a finish. Right? So I'll often cue that, crown the head to the ceiling, bum underneath you, all right? And then they're done. So hard finish, but then they're done. Right, pushing all the way through is just a little bit too much of a good thing. Okay, so I hope that answers the question. Um, if it doesn't, then ask it again in the comments and I will give a bit more detail to it.